Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for episode number two of Outer Wilds. And yes, I am grinning from ear to ear as I often do with games, but especially with games that have completely taken my breath away. Uh, just from the story to the mechanics and the traveling from planet to moons and exploring the solar system. It's just pure magic. And so why make this a long intro? Guys, welcome back in. We are picking back up with exploring those ruins in Adel Rock using our new linguistic tool. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of it. So I hope you guys enjoy this next episode as much as I have been enjoying the game. Yeah. <laughs> I got us basically to a new part. So if you guys did see the end of the last one, I had just landed. We were right by the ruins, but what I've decided to do is just completely circle the planet. And so this is our first spot that we've come across. So before we explore it, I'm gonna like start it. Oops. So here we go. So I just stumbled across this area. And then I, oh, oh let me jump up. Okay, okay, there we go. All right, so there's a recording. Chert's research notes, property of Chert. This is an old crater. Ooh, the sound in the background. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. So Dark Bramble must be really cold. I'd p uh, posit the Addle Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. The follow-up on, to follow up on, maybe there are fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in our solar system. Okay, that's it. But that's it. And refuel jetpack. If you spend, I want to see. So let me just use a little bit. Oh, I did not mean to jump that high. Oh my gosh, back down, back, back down, back down, back down. So I want to see. Oh. Yikes. Okay. So I want to see if we hit that. Can you constantly refuel? <gasps> you can. But I am starting to run out of oxygen, so I need to be mindful of that. Okay, we are going on the dark side. Let's see if there's anything else in this crater. Most likely not, if I had to guess. Hmm? Okay, I think that's it for the crater. Uh, we need to start finding something to help us get our oxygen back. And I think the only trees on this area- oh, wow. I think the- okay, let me jump. I think the only trees on this area are where Esker is. Okay. Safe landing. So we're just gonna basically go everywhere- oh! What's that? The ruins! Okay, the ruins are on the bottom side. Oof. Uh, let me go back and collect some oxygen from Esker. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear this area, so we're gonna walk, look both ways. There's no method to my madness, I'm just kind of like running it. A lot of craters on this moon. Uh, let me make sure I kind of clear this area. Oh my goodness, that's scary. That's scary, the way that it rotates to- oh, oh, no, 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 go back down, go back down, go back down. Ow! I know, I gotta learn to have a safer exit. It's closer to my ship. Oh. Okay, go this way. I thought that Esker was somewhere close to all of this. Maybe not. Okay, that was perfect. Oh, oh, what is that? <gasps> the thing! Okay. Hold on. Oxygen's fine right now, but um... I don't know. There's a red outline on my body and I don't think it's a good thing. Here we go. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rybex banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. I listened to Chert play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Gazin their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. <laughs> banjo or day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybex doing okay. That, that oaf I was worried about. Uh, banjo loud and clear. Oh, Rybex, yeah. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today. Two. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. 
Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared space ages ago. It can't be them. How long do we live for? Also, space ages. Okay. Timber Hearth. I wouldn't have thought Timber Hearth. I would have thought Bramble. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Meese. Should we try to launch? Which one is that? Which planet is that? The green planet. Okay. Isn't that a harmonica? That's a harmonica. Feldspar's got to be there. There's a banjo. Ah, banjo there. But should we try to go to investigate and see if Feldspar's there? Hmm. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll check it out. Okay, so this is a spot that he made so that he can signal. Isn't this the far north spot? You know what this is? Yeah. Wait a minute. Timber Hearth is our home. So how would he have heard a harmonica? Was somebody else using a harmonica? But that's not where we heard a harmonica from. It wasn't Timber Hearth. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hold on. It's not it. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Back down. Back down. Yeah, that was not good. That, oh. Wait, but there is kind of a harmonica from Timber Hearth. What? It's not directly. When you. When you. Mm, That was an alignment. Or three instruments were almost playing at the same time. Should we land back on Timber Hearth? I guess we should fully explore our own home, shouldn't we? Oh, 60 seconds of oxygen. Trees! I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh. Recharge. I think. Yeah, I think it is. Huh. Okay, let's go let's go do the the ruins. Cuz once we do the ruins, we can pretty much move on from this little guy. Back down, back down. Okay. So we saw the flag. Yay. Head over to the ancient ruins and then we're going to fully explore Timber Hollow. Timber Hearth. Stars Hollow. What? Wait a minute. Okay. It's freaky. There were two harmonicas, actually, though. Anything else? <gasps> what is this? Is this his, uh, is this his ship? Is this Esker's ship? Yeah, I think this is... Don't you think this once was Esker's ship? What the heck? I can't do anything with it. Oh, oh, backed up, backed up. I mean, that's not gonna create anything. There's nothing to actually explore. Hmm. Weird. It's gonna be like 20 minutes of me just looking for the ruins. <laughs> it's a big planet. I can't even imagine how the exploration on the other ones are going to be. Okay, there's the ruins. Right, because they were at the bottom. We got the North Pole and the South Pole. Okay, this is completely different. So how do I know when to use my linguistic kind of tool? I don't think I can just assign it. I think I have to see something. Look at all of these symbols. Hmm? <gasps> 
I don't think I can translate anything yet. <gasps> I can move it! Kind of, look. <gasps> what? What? What is it? That's the banjo. Do you see that thing out there? Is that a star exploding? So I think we should get it to go over here to the blue. They're lining up right here. Or no. They're still moving. What is this magic? Um, let's go down below. See if there's anything to translate. <gasps> okay, we've got oxygen. Nice. I didn't have to go back to Esker earlier. It's still rotating up top. Here we go. Auto translate. Call us. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brito Hollow. Did you see more translated? However, something strange is happening. When I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal, the device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to whoop and never points to just one direction. Yeah, that's that's what we're seeing right now. To follow the eye signal. Yeah, we're seeing that. It's not pointing to one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make the adjustments and try again. An update. Oh, this is Felix. We know Felix. We've seen Felix's writing before. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Sounds like me building my new PC. <laughs> it saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. The eye of the universe. Thatch, new character. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava. Oh, we've heard Cassava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Ship log updated. <gasps> Scroll. <gasps> What? An insert scroll? Wait, what? It can draw from anywhere. Let's pick up this scroll. What? Insert scroll. Do they need to be in a right... Do they need to be in a right location? It's kind of stopping, now it's going back. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? <laughs> but wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Feldspar? Yep. Just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Oh, stars above. Okay, let's go ahead and- so this has all been translated, so let's test out this new scroll. There's gotta be some updates on it. Still getting the hang of the buttons. Thatch, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal at locator is. Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. 
Plum, new character. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has an ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately. Then it, then, exclamation mark. Oh, like then. Okay, so we need to go to Brittle Hollow. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's a whole lot that we can really gather from this. What I will do is I'll go ahead and remove this out of there. Let's just test it. So this is going to make us align at some planet, but what planet? The sun, of course, which you can tell by the signal. Then this should be, mm, I don't know what, um, I'm not, well, oh, the green planet. Yes. And then this was our own. What, what's with the wind? Perhaps, I don't know. Okay, wait, pull it back, pull it back. Okay, it stopped. Perhaps this planet? This should be our own brittle, correct? No, it's that one. Hmm. Well, I... I guess, okay, so I think what I want to do... Uh, none of them house the signal that we keep seeing. I mean, I already talked about it not being here, so... Look, there's ruins. We need to go back to Hollow. Yep, we're gonna go back home. Okay. I know, 50% fuel as well. We haven't really explored this side of the planet. Unless, do my recent tracks not... Do they, over time, go away? We can see that. Oh, that's my ship. Okay. That's where our ship is. Let's kind of just, like, do a quick... Whoa. We're just gonna do a little... See that? We've already been in that crater. So yeah, it's not... It's slowly removing our tracks, so it's not like you can say, Whoa, come back down, come back down. <laughs> okay, not bad. Not a bad landing. Let's go say goodbye to Esker. And also say... Did I already try to do this? Ooh. Perfect. Does he have any logs? No. Look at all the marshmallows and the fish. <laughs> the jumbo marshmallows. Oh, and of course the sap. One cannot forget. All right, bye, Esker. Oh, we already did this. All right, talk to you later. He's like, no, don't leave. Don't leave. All right, back to the ship to decide where to go to next. Whoop. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to make sure so freaky okay let's go look at the ship log see what we've kind of come up with yep harmonica signal i signal locator so many new data points or i guess rumors i should say view rumored entry ryback headed to brittle hollow to investigate something the nomai were doing at the south pole creating the eye harmonica signal Esker signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounded like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared ages ago. Southern Observatory. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye, yes, in Brittle Hollow. So here's what I think we should do. Eye signal locator, right? They were disappointed by it, etc. I say... Oh, I forgot about Gabbro. Let's go keep, um... Yeah, I'm gonna look at that. They want me to look at that. We're gonna go after the harmonica signal, which was on Timber Hearth. So we're going back home, but not where we normally are. So remove the suit. Let's do pre-flight checklist. I guess I should do this every time. Jetpack boost. Or is this just for us to see? Translator can be equipped by pressing, oh, with a button press manual or by looking at translatable text. Okay, I did not know that. Right, right, right. Okay. Hmm? Buckle up, buttercup. We're going back home. Let's do this. Take off. I love that. All right. Timber hearth. We're already pretty much there. Let's 
go ahead and match velocity. And then let's do a landing. And go on in. So we want to not land where... I mean, well, we... I mean, we, we can. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh! <gasps> oh! Yeah, yeah, we might, yeah, we might need to repair some of that. Can I not breathe here? So I'm just gonna exit. I should be able to breathe here. Yes, I can breathe on here. I know, I know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. One day I'll have a flawless, flawless landing. I cannot even imagine what I would be like in Star Citizen. Man, I'm I'm now I miss when we used to be able to jump around. And for whatever reason, I I don't have a map or anything. Maybe I need my suit on to see that stuff. Let's check. Yes. The suit gives you the awareness to where you are. Plus we're able to kind of jet around, so it makes more sense this way. So we are looking for the source of the harmonica sound. Let's go ahead and oh, oh. No, wait! That's on the other side. That's not the same harmonica sound. That's something different. Hmm. Let's check over here. Okay, we'll put it away for now. Oh, nope, this is home. This is home. Okay, go the other way. So we're gonna go other way. We don't need oxygen. We're just going to need fuel, which I should be able to grab fuel. I think it's the safest bet to just always go to the opposite poles on any. I love how I'm just skimming along. <laughs> wow, we're flying. Here's the smoke signal, too. Something must have crashed, burned or landed. OK, <gasps> the harmonica. That can't be Feldspar. Good morning. Tektite. It's not coming from Tektite. It's coming from this Bramble. Bramble. It is so sourced from the Bramble. Heyo, Hatchley. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me. I saw something crash over the horizon, and I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures on my little scout. Was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. Oh no, does that mean it's going to take over the planet too? Probably not, right? I'm going to have to save my world. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchlin, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. <laughs> I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to start hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better wait, without a better idea of what's lurking inside that thing. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the thing, the opening, is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. <laughs> That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Fair enough. But why would it be housing? Okay, let the, um, let the things kind of come in. Just keep hearing it. What does it do? Here we go. Oh, that's somebody behind him. It's not that. It's just somebody whistling behind. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wow. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't really. Can we go inside of it? I don't really think I can do anything with it. Okay, but the mystery continues. Oh, and the ice pieces. Another telltale sign. 
of Bramble. Ow. Ow. Right. Let's get out of here. Hold on. Huh. So, that's not great. It's not great. It's not good. Certainly not good. 50% fuel. Um, I'm probably just gonna fly back this way. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I think the fastest way will be to, oh, take this tree out. Oh, clever tree. Clever tree. Oh. Alright, jump on top of this. Walk up this way. It'll be the best shot we've got. I think at this rate, there are some ancients on here, so I do want to, or, um... There's some architecture, so I do want to go look at that and scan it. And then I think we'll have to go to another plane on the outskirts. That's the one I want to go to. That, I hear a harmonica, and that is not the bramble. That is something different. That's something... I'll have to go look at what it is. Look at that! A geyser. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the geysers. I'm gonna run out of fuel. But it's worth it. I just end up getting like mesmerized by looking at all the color and the vibrancy. Whoa! What's this? Hmm. Y'all see any ruins anywhere? I guess if I get fuel level critical, yeah. I don't wanna see what happens if I uh, run out of it. Whoa, treehouse. No, this is where we're at. This is our crater. Yep. On the opposite side, this is the crater. Do I have any fuel here? Wait, is this my town? I know we call it the Wild Wild West, but I think it's time to start calling it the Wild Wild Space. What is happening here? I've got stars bursting. I've got exploding balls of light coming towards me. Well, at least we're on the same planet. So on the bright side, we're still where we need to be. Like, I don't have to fly somewhere else. Um, view entry. So we did. There's more to explore here. Wait, it says there's more to explore here, but maybe later. Maybe we have to come back later. Ryback. Headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate. Yeah, we knew that. Okay, we're headed to Ryback. Can somebody please in the comments explain what just happened to me? What what did I get myself into? Okay, to Timber. We're on Timber Hearth. Okay. <laughs> Lift off. I also, I think part of it was... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Part of it was the excitement of what did I get myself into while simultaneously... Oh. I was like mesmerized and like taken away by the beauty of it while completely realizing a little too late that that thing was not my friend and it was not a light show. It was not the 4th of July. That thing meant me harm and it succeeded. <gasps> That's cool. Okay, wait, we're landing. We're landing. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Wait, is the geyser coming up? <gasps> oh, 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 oh no, I'm going up with the geyser. <laughs> a 
Okay, so maybe we land and we go down. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now's the time, now's the time, now's the time, now's the time, hold on. You know what, this is okay. This is okay, hold on. Now's the time, now's the time. Bring it in, 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 bring it in. Slow it down. Nice. Nice! Okay, I'll take it. Okay, um, let's put this back on. There's a lot happening. Like, now I can see why people say it's either, like, a 10-hour or 12-hour game, or you can easily make it, <laughs> like, 50 hours. I'm sorry. We should have a repair counter to see how many repairs it takes me to get this done. I think that's, I think that's everything. Every time you think you know what's happening, we really have no idea. Is my translator tool helping with this? Okay, let's translate. Right. Mining site 2B. A mining site? What's this way? Footprints. Nope. Wait a minute. Is this our water? This this isn't our waterfall. Oh no. Okay, I just moved through. I moved through. I think. I I should go to the mining site, but we'll backtrack. What ruins are these? Have what we already explored this? Look at the embers, they're the little fireflies. <gasps> this is awesome. This must be the entrance. <gasps> I've seen this. I've seen this, yes. Ow. Okay, this is what I keep seeing. So we are at the right, like, um, ruins. We are. But is there anything I can translate here? Or is this the intro? Oh, pot. Architecture. What? There's so- oh, it's reacting. When I move, it moves. So if it moves when I move, can I get it to line up? Or is it just move? Oh, it's moving on its own. Hmm. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm leaving it alone. I'm not gonna try to- oh. How come I can't take any of this stuff? Look at the light. Do you think they tried to make- they did. I think they tried to make this a site for the eye as well. And it just didn't work out. Okay, so we're gonna head back to where we were before. Woo! Perfect. And we need to fly straight into the waterfall. Back to my ship. In and out. You gotta do it fast, like rip off like a bandage, you know. I hope I'm finding some things that maybe some of you guys didn't see in your playthrough as well. I wouldn't have thought to stay on Timber Hearth. Bones. One of their skeletons. Nobody's been here on our- there's no way that they have been here and would have left the skeleton. This would have been in the museum already. This has got to be new. This is undiscovered. Look at the torches. Okay, zoom through. I don't like it. Am I underwater? Where are we? Can I get in that? There's something over there. Oxygen tank refilled. I was. It's like some kind of water. What? Okay, we're going up. I feel like I'm in Portal now. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. 
Look at these. These must have been like crates of some sort. Another skeleton. Oh, it was like mining carts. <gasps> yeah, it's like mining carts of some sort. Text as to what happened here. This is so cool. <sighs> okay. I'm still amazed by how much more ore the Ash Twin project requires. The Ash Twin. The two, the twins, yeah. Isn't this the ore? Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. This is Psycad. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Ash Twin's core. Oh, there's another piece. Coleus. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearse ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually, life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced met uh, metallurgy? metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. That is true if they had taken all the resources. But we haven't even found this, right? Like this isn't, we found one cave like this, right? But this is somewhere completely different. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. <laughs> they had a sense of humor. We'd love to see it. Dad humor. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. <laughs> How else would he improve? Okay, I like that they're like bantering. So we've got a couple names here. We've got Coleus, which we've heard before. Ono? Maybe Ono? I haven't heard before. Psycad or Psydad with those kind of jokes. I can remove the scroll, but the ship log is now updated. That's back to the ship, but I want to go over here. <gasps> what is this? That's what their tables looked like. So we can definitely tell that they had even more advanced technology than we had, which is kind of weird to think that our, where we're at and our culture or like our species is still primitive considering that we have already, you know, been able to develop space travel and electricity, all of these things, right? And yet there's something so much more advanced about the Nomai. It's weird to see it like that. Pick up Ash Twin projects, projection stone. And we put it here. <gasps> what was that? Wait, maybe I need to put it back in? I feel like I'm in like uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal of Skull at the end. Is something supposed to be happening? Three are lit. I want out, I want out, I want out, I want out, I want out. How did these people die here in the mines? Did something else kill them off or did they get sealed in here? Is it possible they, I guess maybe were their own demise. <gasps> this is something different too. Okay, we need to pick it back up. Yeah, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I feel like it's um, the infinite knowledge or something like asking for. Yarrow. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Ono. Oh this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Oh no, this is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically, mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Yarrow. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check the we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and then exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Ship logged. Okay. 
I think we should go down. Whoop, not like that. I think we should go down the traditional way. I'm gonna go this way. So, I'm not quite sure about that one. We only had three of the Nomai's glowing. We saw this one. That was a bit kind of weird. Oh, this is, oh, no, 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 don't send me down. I don't want to be down in the water. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> I know I'm like dramatic about it, but I don't like it. Okay, go back up. I wonder if we can jump out at any time. No, I don't think so. It just like drops you off. <laughs> it's like, here is your entrance. Okay. Well. I think the best way to do this is to... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Ow, ow, ow. Coming in hot. Oh. Okay. Easy. So I think that's everything we can find in Hearth. Which was good. We got to cover Adel Rock and Hearth. Find this crazy structure. Trying to decide what's next. Return suit. Let's see, guys. Oh man, we've got Timber Hearth, Adel Rock, Hourglass Twins. I think Hourglass Twins would be my first. I guess they were creating the outer shell to protect it from the sun, correct? Brittle Hollow. The Dark Bramble. The Dark Bramble is where we're hearing the harmonica. I keep thinking it's a lot further than it is. But that, yeah, that thing that we kept hearing the harmonica, it was Dark Bramble. So we were right, which we cannot... We can't go there first. So Brittle Hollow technically makes more sense to go to next. I think let's try to land on Hourglass Twins, but it might not be possible. No, mm, wait, let me go. We got a lot more. Yeah, the Know My Minds, Ash Twin Project. Those are kind of hanging out in the end or like off to the side. Once the show was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances or cracks. That would mean that there's no way for us to even land on it, right? Maybe let's just go test it out. It's just we're getting super close to the sun. And then I say we head to, oh, Giant Steep. No, we're going to go to the next one. So Brittle Rock. Yeah, we'll head to Brittle Hollow. But we're just going to peep our glass twins, OK? Ready and launch. Oh, I think I got, I think I, whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Look, there it is. I'm scared. It's too far away. Oh. Oops. I gotta get out. Right. Brittle, Addle Rock. And there, the twins. Nope, Brittle Hollow. Giant Steep. Other side, there, the twins. I don't think this is a smart idea, but I've died already so many times that... No, 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 no! Abort! 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 <laughs> okay, thank you! Okay, wait. Why was that? That was such a scuffed autopilot. My autopilot's doing that thing again. You know that thing where it doesn't really aligning flight trajectory. Abort autopilot. Let me go in myself. Ash twin. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. I think. It's a bit hard whenever you don't have the auto. Okay, match velocity. There's no way we're landing on that sucker. Mm. Bring me in, bring me in. It's so difficult to do this. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. To Brittle Hollow. <laughs> Wherever it was. Where am I? That, right? That's giant steep, brittle hollow. Okay. Okay, let's see if the autopilot's broken. Is it me? Is it not? I don't know. We're gonna find out. 
Oh, maybe is it having to... There it is. Okay, it has to be green. Or blue. It has to be blue to actually start moving towards it. I gotcha. Okay. Yep, Banjo. Banjo, bro. Banjo Kazooie. Firing retro rockets. Oh yeah, we're coming in hot. Oh no, what what is that one? Hollow's lantern. Nope. 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 Boost it! Boost it! Go around it, go around it, go around it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're gonna land right here. Whoa, this looks cool. <gasps> what is that? It's like a throne. Is this Thanos? This is looking like Thanos. <gasps> Okay, that was as smooth of a landing as I could possibly do. Oh no, hold on. Not smooth, not smooth. Let me get on, get on solid ground. Even. There we go. Okay. All right, before I venture out here, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. We're gonna suit up. Right, so we are now on Brittle Hollow, and then we'll go to Hollow's Lantern if we have to. But this is good, this is good. All right, I'll be right back. So much stuff. Okay. Whoa. <gasps> what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> I think we need to find somewhere safer to land. This is a lot of deaths, guys. It's gotta be an explosion somewhere. Oh no, here he comes again. Wow, he's not saying it anymore. <laughs> I guess when you've died this many times. This is insane. <laughs> Buckle up. That had to have been, uh, maybe the, the thing, what? There's a lot of explosions happening. Space is a lot more dangerous than I realized. Like, I always knew space was questionable, but yeah, it's gotta be that, you know what? It's probably has something to do with the lava that is falling off of the adjacent uh, planet. Autopilot? Autopilot? <laughs> what? This, is, this has been a night. I have to say, this game never ceases to make me laugh or die. <laughs> die by laughing. Okay. Yeah. Not exactly like... Not exactly like thrilled to be landing on this planet. Wait a minute. <gasps> Okay, I don't think we're gonna be landing on that. I just wanna make it very clear. <laughs> Land me somewhere safe, please. Somewhere just nice and sweet. Hold on. Oh! Oh, okay. Get me out, get me out, get me out before something explodes, before anything happens. Get out. Get out of the road. Okay, gravity's not bad. Maybe there's some things we need to. I know we got it. Yeah, I know that the cockpit has to get repaired. Okay, repair that. There's so many deaths back to back almost. Is it just the cockpit? Anything else? Look how just like... <laughs> something about the graphics or maybe the way that we have that, it just feels like... It feels like grounded a little bit. Okay. Where is he? Nope, that's the harmonica. I think we're just gonna have to explore and find it on our own. I don't think it's gonna be easy. Uh, maybe it will be actually. Wait, let's go to the ruins over there. Mm-hmm. Ruins over there, try not to get hit by that. That was just unlucky then. I just happened to land 
in one of the more unlucky spots. <laughs> yeah, they tried to do the eye here, yep. We can see this. So we saw that on Timber, our same thing there. Except now we have a couple more. Uh-huh. We have a lot more buildings, actually. Like, this almost seems like they lived here. I wonder if this can even... Oh, fuel. Here we go. Feldspar spare jetpack fuel. Feldspar. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack. So I'm leaving this here. I checked my, with my little scout. I do, too, use it. I do, too, use it. Oh, my gosh, I'm like that. I know you guys are going to say by the end of this, you never scout. You could just scout instead of walking there. You burnt marshmallow. You burnt marshmallows. The scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any. But who knows? If the fuel is still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. Probably. But I want to believe that they can't, like, the lava can't hit us in here. I'm going to choose to believe. Is this they're dead? Yeah, they're all dead now. Hmm. I don't know. We're about to find out. That looks like it's headed straight to us. This has to be a joke. It's got to be going somewhere else, right? I think it's aiming for us. It's aiming for us. It's got to be aiming for us. There's somebody out there firing away. Okay. <gasps> what? Okay, let's start with this. The Hanging City. Well, we can't go in that. That'll be our way up. So if we do fall into a hole, we'll end up back here. Look at this. Huh. An adorned Nomai, perhaps? It's like a city of rams. <gasps> I have never tried launching him right here. <laughs> Wait, service integrity scout? I think I messed up my scout. I think I've lost him for good. I've lost him for good. Sir, sir, please. Oh man. Wait, let me make sure I'm not gonna get hit by another rock. Okay, retrieve scout. <laughs> We're still in day two, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm still learning, too. Okay, Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Rock's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Pokey, I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kesava, I hope you're reading this. Make sure I'm not going to get hit. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate casualty. There must be equipment error somewhere. Causality. Wait, sorry. Causality. Sorry. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Cassava. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. This one? Felix, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Right. Okay. Oh no, another one of those things. Let's do the time warp again. Except I don't know. We're going to have to find it. Another one. They also often have this almost like staff of some sort. Hmm. We're gonna need to find the other piece to help us. Might be up here at the tippy top. I don't like this. Oh no. Okay, get get somewhere else. Run. Run. And before another one explodes. Oh my gosh, it's coming in hot! That was so not that one, but the other one was really close. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Oh no, bad news bears. Felix, has anyone observed the phantom moon that 
sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. Thatch, I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis, could it be the shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Plume, I'm interested in your playful moon. Sorry, what? Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. I imagine there'd be none of us left. That's true. I'm already... Hypothesis. There can exist... There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer to test the null hypothesis. I love when they just kind of banter and you see that, like, it's really easy. I think that's actually a nice kind of touch that they had on this. I know my oxygen's running. Actually, it pauses during this, but... I like that they give them this, like, they're personable. Like, it's easy to, when you're talking about, like, an ancient race or another species, like, you can almost put them on a pedestal or forget that there is a personability to them. Like, they are relatable in some sort of way. Like, they're yet just another species that it probably has a lot of similar things that they go through as we do. Or, or you can see they have humor between one another. It's kind of cool. It, um... While they still feel larger than life, they they somehow feel more real, you know? This moon isn't volcanic. To my unaided eyes, sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow Lantern for nights at a time. Wait, what? The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It travels as it likes. There's another moon. There's a moon that we can land on that is completely different? I should actually send out my space friend. Because we need to get back to the black hole. Oh! I'm finding the black hole. No! 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 My life will never be the same. <gasps> Oh. My. <sighs> um. Well, I think I'm gonna run out of oxygen and, uh, fuel. And I'm dying in space. I'm, I'm... What are the chances that I can make it to my ship on time? Go through the black hole. Go through it. Go into it. Get into it. Go. Boost into it. Boost into that. Whatever that is. That's a planet. That's a planet. That's the deep. That's the deep. That's the deep. That's the ash twins. There's my ship. Get to it. I'm going into the sun. I'm floating somewhere. A hoot. <laughs> LB roll. LB roll. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. This is a mess. I, oh no, oh no, oh sugar snaps. Um, this is how I go. This is how I go in space. I'm gonna roast in the sun. Oh, that's cool, though. Look at that. It's so quiet. This... F oh. This is terrifying. Do you think this is a peaceful way to go? I feel like this would be nightmare fuel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we can't go into the black hole. <clears throat> Apparently we cannot warp like they can. Maybe what we should try to do is not die. Although it's kind of funny 
I think some people are really hypercritical if they die in games like this, but especially for something like this, when there's so many different ways that you can die and there's a lot of like variety to it, it doesn't seem so annoying. It's kind of enjoy, not, not that it's enjoyable to die, but it's not as, it doesn't feel the same. Like every time you die, like this part feels the same. But I think it also shows you just how many things can kill you out here. Like space is terrifying. It's magical and you know, it's this sense of wonder, right? Because there's still so little we know about it, but it still isn't to be thought of lightly. Like there's so much to it. Okay, here we go. Autopilot. So I think we'll land on the same spot and everything, but what we'll try to prioritize is controlling when we fall into holes. That, that's, that, that's the moon. They're talking about that randomly spawns. Land on the moon. Shoot, we're coming in too hot. Autopilot, allopata. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna, uh, go to it, go to it, go to it. Cause this does not spawn all the time, right? This is good. This is good, this is good. I don't know where we are. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Wait. Where the heck did it go? Wait a minute, am I imagining this? Is that it? No, that's the green planet. It was right there. It disappeared. It disappeared. I mean, they did say it just shows up and disappears. So I guess if you miss your chance, you miss your chance. That's terrifying. Okay. Okay, I'm coming in. All right, here we go. Horizontal thrust. Oh, I knew that was gonna be bad. That's fine. That'll, that's fine. It'll buff out. Okay, let's go. I'm in. Oxygen. Oh, this is that what this is where we almost landed. This is exactly where my ship landed. Unidentified signal nearby. Here we go. This must be where he's at. Um, this is good. Yep, this is his base. This is his base. How does he never get hit by the Maybe sometimes he does get attacked by the stuff. Oh, I smacked in dogs. Okay, yeah, I don't think it can hit us here. Escape pod number one. Distress beacon. Hey, is everyone unharmed? Thatch. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have you heard from escape pod two and three? No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods, oops. Both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can, Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down. Perhaps we can build platforms? Perhaps, I suppose so. Okay, ship log updated. I haven't seen it. There, the planet, or the moon. Wait, it's gone again. I'm not crazy, I saw it for a second. <gasps> oh no, oh gosh. We need to find the other distress beacons too for them. They have to be on this planet somewhere, right? The platforms that they talked about. Yes, to get us safely down. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> let's start by going in here. Yeah, let's start by going in whatever this is. Wow, this is like so bizarre. Ah! <laughs> It can hit! Woo! Get me back up. We're going in. That was horrifying. I didn't realize there'd be jump scares in this. Pods. This must have been the ship, right? <laughs> that struck fear into my heart. Also, who's supposed to be on this planet? One of our friends. What is that? What is that thing? Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Collision imminent. Okay, we're not actually safe, though. It's important to remember we're never truly safe. I like this. This is great. It reminds me of, oh my goodness. There was something like, um, oh, you know when you get those boxes and you have to get the marble around by just moving the box alone? It's kind of fun that way. <gasps> Space is terrifying. Like, Really cool, but terrifying. I don't know if I could ever breathe it. Hmm. These platforms. <gasps> the platform's falling! None of the platforms are necessarily secure. <laughs> this game has thought of it all. Like, it, the game has these such small pieces that just make you feel immersed. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Don't I know it? A black hole sleeps below. I don't like how they use that. Like, I think if I land on it too hard, they crumble. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think it has to do with how hard you land on it. The idea of going through a black hole. I don't want to experience that again. Like, there's no coming back from it. <gasps> what is all this? Surely they didn't build these. These had to have been here before. They couldn't have built. All of this. What? Okay. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. Untranslate. Oh, the temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks, dust created by meteor impacts. Okay, so they did. They built all of this. <gasps> the music changed too. <gasps> Imagine being told to stay here. Like, hey, by the way, can you sleep here tonight? By the way, there might be some meteors that hit you. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves, which is why they created the black hole, um, warp or whatever, time travel. I agree. We're here because the eye's signal called to us, and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not near, merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Bloom, and eloquently made. If moving to the Northern Glacier will keep us safer, then that is where we will do. Northern Glacier. That's where I fell through the first time, I just didn't find the right spot. I believe we should migrate to the Northern Glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to graft, to craft a stable path? Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from volcanic moon's eruptions. That's what this is. <gasps> it's time to use them to get across to the northern area over there. But before we do that, we want to, I want to go into these temporary shelters. There's so many to explore. Look at down there. Also, I just want to say that 
look at how even just like this is just a common pathway but look at the detail in this look at the carving like somebody would have had to carve that that's not just something that you know they're rolling down to their home depot space depot or whatever it is like pre-built like they not only grabbed this stone which where did they even get the stone from they actually took the time to carve into it too i'm kind of terrified <sighs> okay so this is where this comes into handy all right here we go so we see probably their spaceship the bramble attaches to it and then completely locks it and then they launch stuff in it three minutes of oxygen another pathway a spiral okay it's worth it trying to get down there oh sorry bb let me get my scout back i have to figure out where to get oxygen this knowledge is too dear to lose here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel the signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Touche. Imagine what a rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. I need to be careful of my fuel and everything. Okay. Maybe there's a plant somewhere. I know we have three minutes of oxygen. If we continue to lose any more, I'm gonna have to... I'll go this way first. I'm going to have to go back up to the surface where we saw the plants. We actually probably should do it sooner than later, but what if there happens to be... I just feel like there could be a plant somewhere. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Scroll over. More writings. Plant? Possible plant? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Nice. They didn't hate us. Okay. Ooh, get me in that snapshot, baby. Oh. Have you ever thought to do this where you see yourself? Hey, must be the money. <laughs> okay. Scout back. Although the scout gives you a lot of light too. Here we go. My brother wasn't in escape pod one with us. Was he in pod two or three? Was he able to board an escape pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not, allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. We haven't seen any other escape pods, have we? Okay, we know that this is now our fuel pod. So this is where we can get some oxygen back before we decide to do the um, upward climb. So let's get back up. Um, hold on, oh. I need to find more oxygen too though, that's the only downside, to be able to get back up on some of these places. Right. Okay. That was really lucky for me to be able to go to the right one. Um, that looks good. We'll come back for that. Let's go to the furthest one. Yeah, let's go to these two first. There's gotta be some kind of oxygen tank in here. Not oxygen, sorry, um, fuel tank. I see the spiral right there, don't worry. I see it. I'm gonna go to the furthest one and then we'll work our way back. Yeah. And that even goes down to there. <gasps> oh no. Things are getting seriously hairy here. What do you reckon that they sleep on? Do you think they slept on anything? This is gonna be risky, but I need to do this jump. <gasps> oh! Yeah, this is, okay, this was down below. Yeah, this is what we needed to do. And, oh, we can get back up that way. Wait. Yeah, these are the pictures. So a signal, the eye, the eye was calling them. And then something, the bramble, gathered them. And then, yeah, got them stuck. They were trying to fire out, but they couldn't. Yeah, they got completely stuck. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. 
were where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. The music is perfect for this. It has this like curious tone, but also um, kind of like solemn. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona, and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation system were both well. This is... It's hard to, um... It's a little difficult to read this because, you know, obviously, this is them after feeling really beaten down and bruised. I mean, they don't know where their other friends' pods are. Very nice. They have no idea. They've probably lost some people, and I think they've probably admitted that knowledge. Like, they probably know that they've lost people. I'm not coming back. And also realizing that you're stuck here, that nobody's coming back for you. Okay, this is another way up. I know where we are now, but I'm gonna actually take that route. Yeah. It's horrible. You have to create your way out, also trying to figure out what went wrong so you don't make that mistake again. Baby. Okay, any fuel? Anybody got some fuel? <laughs> Let me do a nice, okay, come on, really? <sighs> no fuel tanks, no fuel tanks. And I can't, oh, plant, plant. For oxygen. And more writing inside of here. This must be a different hut. I, I don't recognize where we are. That's that, okay, we're up above. Yeah. I don't see any bodies though, so I don't think anybody died here, or if they did, they probably took the bodies with them. Kusa, we can hear the other escape pod's distress signals, which gives me hope. Fully, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. Kusa, I am unsure how to be me without you. This is devastating. Horrific. Okay. Hmm. They were smart to bring trees with them. They must, so they also need... We need to hurry. So that's where we came from. Let's go up here. Did we just lose some of this? Guys, I think we just lost... I don't know for a fact. I don't... We need to go. It's all... It's so unstable. How could they have even slept here a night? As soon as I would hear something, I would panic, and I, there's no way that I could sleep here for a night. But they had to. They had nothing else. I mean, it's not like the surface was any... any easier. Okay. I forget where we are. I just want to make sure I read everything. Okay, I know where we are. So we've been here. This guy I went into, right? This is where we came from. My sense of direction is shot. My emotions are running high. I can see why so many people love this game. I mean, not only is it story rich, but it's so story rich, but it also, like there's times where you kind of, I don't think I've gone up this one. So I think this is the last one to explore. There's times where you laugh or there's like things where, you know, you can kind of make light of it. Like it is a lighthearted game while having times where you do have to stop and be like, wow, this got really serious for a second, you know. Um, I believe I've been here. But I'll just, I'm gonna launch. Yeah, 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 I've, I've been down there. I think I've been everywhere now. I do. Yeah. Because this over here, I don't want to miss any writings or anything we went down below there so that means we went over here and yeah I think I don't know yeah because I jumped down right there and it was scary maybe I lost my ability to go to the other one we need to start going 
yeah, I explored all of that and then I got back up, so. Okay, it's time to walk. What was that's how we got here? I should pick up some oxygen before I go. No, it'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, we need to stay right by the crystal. <sighs> Don't look anywhere. And it just goes into the black hole. This way? No. I swear I almost heard like laughter of some sort. That can't be. They were so brave to use these. How do you know for sure just how much space you have between them? Like this is a, forget leap of faith. This is just crazy. I think this way. I want to run, sprint, get me out of here. Okay. Hmm. The whole planet is, is the black hole not going to suck up the whole planet? I mean, all these pieces? Do you not think? Here we go. Okay, so they moved to the ice. So let's find out what happened next. Oh no, oh no. Oh! Oh. Ow, thanks for the landing. Jeez. Okay. <gasps> no. They didn't find a way out, did they? No. No, no, no. The music, the music. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. What? Ghost matter detected. I can't go that way. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this. There's more structures here too. Like you can see where they gathered. You can see where they put, stored some kind of stuff. But yeah, that's at least two of them. We're far from home. This will take us to the top. This is how they got back to the top. Can they create that anywhere? Ghost matter and the plant, the tree's dead. I can't, I can't go over there. More people are dead. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here when I have like one minute of oxygen left, but I'm gonna try to go a little bit further if I can. Do you think it's possible for me to go around it? The whole area. The whole area. Anything? Two more? Wait, or have I been here? This is somewhere different. Okay, that will take me back up. What is this? Scroll. We can read. We need to go back to the top. Push me up. Okay, so we're gonna go back up and we're gonna go to the very top. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um. Tree, oxygen. Okay, we bought some more time. The scroll we need to take back to find out what happened. But they brought a big tree. <gasps> this is just wild. I'm so sad. So much ghost matter. Look at this. I mean, look at this fencing that they created. I mean, they had all the time to construct all of this, but... <gasps> this is like when you find the younglings in... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so I can translate it here. Hold on. Can I... I can set this down for a second. No. Explanation of festivals. Lammy. I don't recognize that name. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. 
Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. We can't go because we're stuck here. But Felix says we used to go, too. At all festivals, at some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance, too. Like known as Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. And I love how they share their knowledge, too, amongst one another. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. <laughs> that a single festival could last a long, long time. They had created, this is like a schoolhouse, guys. Like they were teaching, yeah, that was, this is a school. They were here long enough to construct a school. My heart. Here we go. Why we should build a new vessel, Ilex. It probably won't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things, and if we broke down other structures, like the towers on Ashtwin for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we can make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. I know this sounds a little bit loud here. I don't know why that's this uh, track is louder than everything else. Ilex. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yaro, and he says we use a lots of resources on the Ash Twin project. I want to know what the Ash Twin project really is. I think it's just to be able to create a spot for them to live on the twin ashes without being affected by the sun, the heat of the sun. We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Pokey tells me as she plans to make very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel. I don't know what just happened. It sounds like the last time I got zapped. It was like the last time I got zapped. What? I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Does that happen if you stay in one place for too long? What is that? We're gonna have to go all the way back. That. Okay, so I'm gonna, mm, please let me know what that is. If you guys haven't, I'm gonna check after. The problem is, is that I'm almost gonna be done with this by the time you guys see this. Mm. Uh, I don't even know how we can get back there fast. I'm gonna have to land on the same thing. We're just gonna fly like this, buckle up. That was crazy. I, I don't even know how to protect myself from that. Maybe you just have to hide behind something. Maybe that was the problem. I think it zapped everything. I don't even know if you can run away from that. Maybe it really is if you stay in one place for too long. Because that's just about the only thing I could think of. Okay. It's so funny because there's so many aspects of this that feel very lighthearted and playful. And then... I'm in this heavy scene where I'm reading about the destruction of the Nomai and I get zapped. How did they not get zapped when they were there? Okay. This gives us a chance to find some of the other um, stress signals. Oh, <laughs> and I think I know how we can get back down. Maybe there's a way to get back down fast. Master alarm. Okay, landing mode. Okay, I'm coming in. I don't want to come in too hot. Hold on. I want us to go. There is a smoking thing over there. Woo! Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait.
Uh, I don't know what we're stuck in. What are we stuck in? You have got to be kidding me! Ah! <laughs> okay, at least I'm in my ship. You have got to be kidding me. All right, well. Okay, let's get out there, repair it. I... Hold on, go, go. Oh gosh, I hate this when I'm repairing in space. I hate it for so many reasons. This is like maybe water and everything I'm just terrified of. Okay, I see it. Okay, before we can land on anything, we have to repair. No, no, no. <laughs> It's right there. Okay. I'm getting closer to the bramble. That is not ideal. Not ideal. What is that? Is that where I came out of? Get me back in the ship. I just want to go. I just... Target it. Target it. Target it. Target it. Hold on. Repair. Repair. Here we go. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Come on. I think that's it. There's probably more. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. <gasps> I want this. I want this. What is this? I want... This is some kind of cool... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's hold and match velocity. Velocity matched. You stay there. So now it should stay still. Wait, I think I should be closer because if I go out and explore that, I, am I going to be able to come back? Well, I'm already running out of fuel. That's the only downside. Let's see what this is. We're just getting... Ex <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to the previous spot, so I'm just getting a little bit... um. Just having a little exploration time, you know? Okay, go in! Ooh. Wow. Trees detected? Trees detected? Where am I? <gasps> what? This is so cool. Okay, trees, trees, trees. <gasps> Ember Twin Project. What's the Ember Twin Project? Okay. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. <gasps> Here we go. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. <sighs> it still, like, scares me to this day. Well, I want to take this with me. Okay. The symbol's the same as that, right? No. Am I going to lose my ship? I'm going to lose my ship. It's okay, though, because I'm. Uh, whenever I do end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my ship anyway, so we might as well just test this. I think it takes a while. Hmm. I don't know if I'd say this is really sp Wait. Okay, this just pops me back up there. What does this do? I go down. This is different. Okay, so I can't walk up there. I don't like that. Why would you make a glass floor? In what world? Why? Hmm. What am I supposed to do with this, though? Oh, 
in there. Um. What does that one do? Okay, let me see if that put us on the right path. Oh, we have electricity now. Nice. That's not it. Okay. Let's see if it lines us up. Does it automatically work if we see it? Do not launch us at the sun, don't you dare. <gasps> That's the coolest mechanic ever. Look at this. Equip translator. What in the bean boozles? What? Wait a minute. Now that's there. We know we always saw that. This. We need to. Oh my goodness. I have so many things. Now we can see what happened here. Okay, actually dying there wasn't the worst thing. The Bramble, the Ember Twin Project. Wow, that's scary. It's just that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do the roar. Look at this. No, you can't move. <gasps> Has that body always been there? Yeah, 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 always. sorry. I'm dramatic, I'm dramatic. Some kind of... Okay, this is... Yes, this is one of the twins. The Ember Twins. So this was... Yeah. Very cactus. Very deserty. I like it. Okay, let's find out. Find out more. This game is just full of surprises. Cool mechanics. Um, and just... I know. <laughs> it's so creative. Like, the story itself. I'm like having a hard time following not a hard time following along but it's like there's so many pieces to it like we've only scratched the surface all right pye Raimi and i reviewed the records you sent pokey and they appear to show nomai are thriving at the warps receiver on brittle hollow slightly before departing from the white hole station as i've already told Raimi. These measurements can't be accurate. How can Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the transporter? The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. <laughs> yes, I hope so too. Pokey, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate. She's kindly helped me to attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. High energy lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. The high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the results are, the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandths of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? This is cool. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, this brings me up. I want to go read this text because this was not operational before. Return warp status charge. Step onto the warp receiver to activate. That's why. And we can teleport all throughout. There's a teleport receiver on Timber. That's how we're going to... Oh, this collapsed. And that's why. That's why you can only go up and out. Because it collapsed on the way in. Um. Oh, no. We read that. That is weird to me that once you die, you can reread some things that you maybe had already read. So the only downside to this is I still don't lo like I still feel like there's more for me to explore down below, but I know that I'd have to get back to the beginning. Um, wait, there's supposed to be someone here. Let me go back to my ship. I thought there was supposed to be someone. Someone's supposed to be here. Let's go back up here. Let's go up to these ruins. 
before I get roasty toasty. Why do I feel like something's about to hit me in the face? I'm like, mm, I don't trust this. I don't trust me. I think I read this. This was where they were joking around and that was cute. We know that they were in the glacier up over here. So let me go, let's go look again. Let's see if it's possible to land without falling into it. Or wait, did I fall into it because it just broke off? No. Here we go. <gasps> Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's the space station. But this is where they landed, so this is actually where we need to be. We just need to hope that we don't go down. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. I don't think there's any nice way to land down there, you know? I think we're gonna have to jump across. We're gonna have to go the, the route we went. You know what, that's okay. We can do it fairly quickly and not die, right? Right, gang? Right? That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> go, go, go. Flashlight on, three minutes to oxygen. We'll grab one of the plants and then we'll get back in a jiffy. We'll just have to walk that. I'll we'll do that walk again. Okay, before we go down there, let me grab an oxygen plant. A Mr. Planty. Uh, where was there one? I think it was to the side. Hmm. I'm seeing so many things falling. Was the plant at the bottom of here? No. Oh. Mr. Planty. Mr. Planty. Um. Yeah, I don't like having three minutes of oxygen. It's not a great feeling, y'all. It's where we need to go back to. Mmm. I feel like all the oxygen plants are in, like, the most random lower compartment spaces. There might be one at the bottom of here. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, fill me up, Scotty. All right, jump back up. We have better fuel than we've had before. It's not the worst fuel situation. Okay. Finish these ruins and then I say we go back to the ship and see all of our rumors. We'll probably warp back to the Whitehall station. Okay. So let's walk across there. Wait a minute. My path's broken. Wait, 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 I don't, I don't think I can. Hold on, maybe I'm crazy, but. Um, I, I can't. Our path is gone. <gasps> if I get too far away. Oh no! Oh gosh. What are the chances I land on my ship? What are the chances? Come on. Just fire away. Hold on. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Okay, we're not going back to Brittle. We're not going back to Brittle. We're done with Brittle. We're done with Brittle. I, mm, nope, 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 no. Put me in, coach. Put me in. Drop me down, give me oxygen, fill me up. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. So what are the chances that if I go over here, oops, hold on. Go back here and let's move it to this one. Does this take me somewhere else? Oops. Oh, you can't take it that way. But you can take it this way. Where does this take us? Maybe this launches us somewhere new. But do we really want to be launched somewhere new? That's a good question too. Okay, we're gonna see. Brittle? We're back on Brittle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no. I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna die. I sometimes wish I'd never been. Let's see. So, is our person here? Let's see if our person's here. Signal, signals. Let me get to the top and see. I think we should just get to the ship and start somewhere new. Because there's just not a lot to this. Like there is and... <gasps> Hold on. I'm hearing all sorts of things. We also are critical health. I say we... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Good day. I said good day. Right, so I should just have to launch out to there. Oh. <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this not my exit? Isn't this my exit? <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh. Space. What a cruel mistress. Okay, we're popping in my ship, we're recovering, and we're probably gonna end it here because I... <laughs> Where am I? See, that's so creepy. That's so scary. My ship also... Did my ship get... Did my ship get injured? It kind of, I mean, it was supposed to just stay close. I think it did. I think it's fine, right? Oh. Perfect. Okay, put that bad boy back. Return suit. Okay, let's look at the ship log because there's so many things that we've just discovered right now. Quantum moon, yep. Escape pod one. Oh, I bet you the escape pod's gotta be in a different location. So now <laughs> there's so many things. Murals, yeah, mural one, two, escape pod. Escape pod three. The vessel. The festival, don't forget the festival. Ash Twin Project. Wow. I do like the way that they've done this. This is giving it like a detective feel to it. And you can actually see that there's, okay, I like how they color code them. So we've got the quantum moon, which Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. I really do want to try to snag that whenever we can. The Nomai were able to warp here. Let's zoom in real quick. Yes, so the northern glacier. I'm now able to warp. Negative time interval between an object arriving. Ooh. And departing was incredibly minuscule. High energy lab. We do need to go to the high energy lab. Wait, which we were at, which is fine. Yeah. Wait. In the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Right, right. Ash Twin still. We did discover that. And then we discovered all of this stuff. So the vessel. Crash somewhere in Dark Bramble. Escape pod three. Never made it out of Dark Bramble. One of the three know my escape pods that crashed in our solar system. The Hanging City. There's more to explore here. Next time. The Nomai abandoned the settlement on the overgrowing concern of its stability. Yeah, it would do. A mural of the three escape pods evacuating Nomai vessel. Oh, okay. That's why. Yeah, okay. The main vessel and then the three escape pods once it got caught in the bramble. Man. One of the three Nomai escape pods landed. Whoa, hold on. Somewhere on Hourglass Twins. That shouldn't be bad to explore, right? Mmm. Dark Bramble Seed. My signal scope picks up. Yeah, there's more to explore there. Rybeck landed, headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing on the South Pole. I didn't see Rybeck at all, though. Like, there was no sign of him. Gabbro. We could go to the deep. Maybe we should go to the deep. 
Okay, so today we got to explore. Oh no, we can't go to the Hourglass Twins. That's gonna be like the last. I don't know how we're gonna land on that, guys. The interloper. Okay, I see the interloper now. I think next episode we'll be trying to take on Giant's Deep and trying to find this phantom moon. You can even see it. Yeah, you can see the phantom moon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The moon is the the moon on Giant's Deep. Is that not what was the um, white lab station? The white hole station or whatever it is? Okay, more to explore there. Lots to explore. Oh my goodness. The black hole. It's shooting out pieces as we speak. <sighs> okay, I think this is a good stopping point. These episodes are a little bit shorter than I normally do. I normally do like two, I feel like two hours, but this is close to that. I think there's something it's hard to describe, and I don't know if you guys felt this way when you were playing it, but it's both exciting, but terrifying. Like, it's it's actually pretty terrifying when you're out there and you're experiencing all these things. I mean, of course, it's in this very charismatic, artsy, cartoonish kind of fun way, but yet I still feel the severity of my actions and you know, the consequences of not prioritizing O2 or slipping on a cliff and falling into a black hole. <laughs> um, and I'm still trying to figure out what keeps zapping me. I don't know if that comes for me if I'm staying stationary for too long. Uh, so I'm probably going to look that one up between now and then because that got me twice in this episode. And I'm sure some of you guys were waiting to see that happen. Um, I was thinking about this as I was playing as well, is I think that there's something, I, I always talk about this, like there's fun games for the person to play, and then there's fun games to re-watch and see somebody re-experience. And I think that this is one of those that it has to be so fun to watch somebody's experience with this because it can be completely different to yours. Like, in fact, it's probably very rare that somebody's experience is just the same. Now, will they often go through the same order of planets? Possibly. Who knows? It depends on their personality, I'm sure. Um, but even when you're on those planets, sort of like everything's different. So it's a very, I feel like it's linear, but it also, it gives room for every single person's playthrough to be their own tale, you know, which is very unique. It is. I'm incredibly impressed by this and I hope that they do another one. Uh, or something of the sort. Oh my goodness, they're coming out. Okay, we're getting the heck out of here. <laughs> guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one for whatever chaos ensues. Bye, YouTube.